Hey, what is happening, you Krusty Krabby? Today, we're taking a look at some new cards that were revealed. One in particular, the Iron Hands EX. People are losing their minds over. They think it's going to destroy the game and make the game unfun and unplayable. Will it? I don't think so. I think people are losing their minds a little bit over the Iron Hands EX. I don't think it's going to be quite as good as people are making it out to be. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. It definitely seems like it could be fairly powerful. But yeah, we just don't know yet. No one's really tested with the cards yet. And even if they have, I mean, once everyone gets their hands on it, it's always a game changer. One person doing some testing way ahead of time is not going to lead to the result of what the meta will actually look like. But we're starting off with this Jirachi, which might be the end of Lost Box. I don't think so, but I actually do hope it is because I'm kind of tired of Lost Box at this point. I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Uh, 70 HP, basic Pokemon, stellar veil ability, attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon, can't put damage counters on your bench Pokemon. So... Obviously, this shuts down the Sableye in the Lost Zone deck, which, to be honest, like, I'm kind of fine for this, but another card that is often played in the Lost Zone decks alongside Sableye is Greninja. And if you have the Jirachi on your bench with only 70 HP, Greninja can snipe two Pokemon for 90 damage. I mean, Jirachi's probably going to be one of them. So does that mean you have to get Jirachi on your bench and Manaphy on your bench to such shut down Sableye and Greninja? Maybe. And is that too much to tech for one deck? perhaps but maybe it's not if you just become like an auto win in that matchup maybe it's not that bad to have to put both of those pokemon on your bench to shut down a lost zone matchup uh, i don't see this being very good against anything else right now at all it literally just is in here to shut down sableye but like i said most decks everyone the sableye also play the greninja so you're also gonna have to bench manaphy alongside the jirachi is that a bad thing i'm not sure to be honest that could be a fine thing Gonna have to wait and see, but if that does make it so some decks can completely shut down Lost Zone, I'm all for it, to be honest. I'm all for Lost Zone just not being good anymore. I wouldn't mind the shakeup and the switch up. I think it'll be better for the health of the game overall. Just kind of tiring. It's like I enjoy Lost Zone decks up to a point, though. We've had them for so long. They've been so dominant for so long. I don't know, moving them along doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world to me. This is definitely one of those like hard counter cards that Pokemon comes out with, with time to time. Spirit Tomb against Mew. Drapion against Mew, Jirachi now against the Sableye. We had Promo Tina in the past to shut down the Greninja Break card as well. I don't think they're a terrible game design type thing. Ideally, they don't exist, but sometimes things get out of hand or are predicted to get out of hand. So we got to have a card like a Jirachi to potentially shut things down. So hopefully Jirachi is the answer we've been looking for for Sableye, but I'm going to have to wait and see as always, see how things test out. But I think it I think it could do it. I think that plus Manaphy on your bench could compl completely shut down Lost Zone decks. Um, depending on what kind of deck you're playing. If you have the bench space to kind of make it work. But I feel like quite a few decks could sacrifice that bench space, specifically in that matchup, if it just becomes basically an auto win. Sure, you don't have as much stuff, other stuff to work with, but Lost Zone decks generally don't have like super big Pokemon that you have to deal with anyways. You need very little to actually win that matchup. Medical Energy, a new special energy, as long as this Pokemon is attached to a... Uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon. As long as this Pokemon is attached to a Pokemon. Card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 30 damage from it. Nothing real special here. Doesn't seem particularly strong. Let's move on to the next couple cards here. The TMs are back. The Technical Machines. We got the De-Evolution TM and the Evolution TM. Now, the De-Evolution TM definitely seems like the better of the two, mostly because we don't have great ways to find tool cards right now, and the De-Evolution TM is something you'll need later in the game, as opposed to the Evolution TM, which is something you'll need earlier in the game. But maybe you play like four Evolution TMs, some Town Stores, some Arvins, who knows? Get your Pokemon Evolve, but the Evolution Technical Machine uh, can be attached to one of your Pokemon as a tool card, but at the end of your turn, you do discard it. So, you know, if you've got research in your deck or something like that, you know, this isn't going to be sticking around for more than one turn. So you got to make sure you make use of it on that turn that you put it in play. If not, you're kind of holding on to it, hoping to find it later. Uh, the Evolution for a Colorless Energy, to evolve all of your opponent's Evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution into their hand. All of the Evolved Pokemon. Not just one, not just two, not just the bench, not just the active, but all of your opponent's Evolved Pokemon make their way, the highest stage at least, makes it way back to your opponent's hand. So obviously, really good against decks that play Rare Candy. So this will kind of force stage one evolutions into the deck more often than they might like. But to be honest, overall, if you're committing your turn to not attacking and drawing a prize card or putting any kind of damage in play, I mean, of course, you could like put some damage in play and then clean up with the technical machine later. That is an option. But like I said, you don't have great ways to find it unless you're committing to like a town store, Arvin type deal, which isn't the end of the world. That'd be pretty easy to fit in some decks. Uh, but it's a little bit situational. I just don't think it's like the end of evolution decks or anything like that, which is what some people were making it out to seem on Twitter, that this just kills evolution decks. I think it's good against evolution decks. I think some decks will play it, uh, maybe some like basic attacking decks or stage one decks that uh, will have some trouble against the high HP of the stage two decks, 
um they will be playing something like this and obviously spread decks there might be something with spread decks here to take advantage of as well obviously play combine it with like sableye and greninja could be a powerful combo as well spread a bunch of damage and play and then hit him with the tm de-evolve a bunch of stuff take a bunch of prize cards in a turn maybe that is going to be a little bit more powerful than i'm currently giving it credit for but we do have that jirachi coming out that's going to shut down sableye to begin with so maybe we won't have to worry about lost box abusing this because the jirachi is going to deal with lost box itself and then with the evolution tm technical technical machine evolution once again gets this card at the end of the turn so you got to make use of it to turn you attach it into play for once again a colorless energy choose two of your bench pokemon so your deck for a card that evolves from each of those pokemon and they'll put those cards onto them to evolve them so this one is a little bit more situational and something you'd want to use in the early game specifically which definitely makes it worse of a card overall is you'd have to like find it turn one or turn two and use it that turn you know to be able to get value but otherwise the game has probably pro progressed too much where you're trying to like use this as your attack for turn to get evolutions into play so um, i could see some kind of builds of decks playing like four of these or maybe like two and then like town stores or arvin so like search them out of the deck to be able to consistently use them in the early game so i definitely see the potential value from this card but it would have to be also a deck where you want like a lot of evolution set up um, i think i ship mentioned like maybe something like a a quad venusaur ex maybe i saw that on twitter quad venusaur ex type deck where you set up four venusaur exes switch between them use their abilities to constantly heal something like that could be cool with the technical machine so there's like some potential with it but yeah overall probably not as powerful as the devolution technical machine we'll see, probably see the devolution technical machine be played a little bit more because the evolution one a little bit more situational in terms of like you need it in the early turns you have to use it in the early turns past the early turns is kind of like too late to utilize it and just falls off really really fast so it has to be a deck that's like fully built around it which is probably not going to be included as like a one of or two of in like most evolution decks i wouldn't think uh, unless like every deck starts playing arvin or town store or something like that and finally the big future and ancient pokemon that were revealed we'll start with the the big one uh probably the biggest card that's been talked about in quite some while quite some while quite a while iron hands ex 210 hp actually it's it says 210 right here but it's actually 230 hp as you can see on the card so 230 hp uh, for lightning land colors arm press 160 and then for lightning colorless 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 120 if your opponent's active pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack take one additional prize card for retreat cost i actually just noticed it has four retreat costs that's probably not going to matter too much though because of one of the tool cards for the future pokemon but yeah 120 additional prize card we've seen this in the past be a little bit oppressive you could say with stoutland in the lugia deck pre-rotation as well as adp infamous adp the ability to take additional prize cards has definitely seemed kind of broken in recent years but if we look a little bit deeper a little bit further into the past drawing additional prize cards from stuff like the ancient trade articuno or the plasma lugia were good cards but definitely not broken so i think there is a space between drawing additional prize cards being broken and it being just like another solid card in the meta and i'm hoping that's what iron hands is i think people are kind of losing it a little bit without having having tested the card or anything like that and just saying like oh this card's broken it's gonna ruin the game how can you even play any of these decks if iron hands makes a bunch of decks unplayable maybe that makes a bunch of other decks playable if like lost box isn't playable anymore because iron hands is so good well what is now playable because lost box is gone gotta think about it like that i think a little bit more so i'm not like uh all doom and gloom about the iron hands four energy is a lot to commit to a pokemon to get two prize cards and then to probably just get knocked out in return and then i mean you have no energy in play at that point so what are you attacking with right it's kind of the question right from there so i'm not all doom and gloom about the iron hands it seems good it seems solid good solid cards that are fun to play is what i'm constantly on the lookout for from the pokemon tcg doesn't seem inherently truly broken or anything like that to me i think it will be okay i think we'll be all right i think we'll survive uh slitherwing 140 hp trample for one fighting discard one card from the top of your opponent's deck for two fighting energy does 120 and then you do 90 to yourself and then your opponent's active is now burned so effectively 140 damage from the attack plus the burn but you do, do 90 damage to yourself which is not great we got the sandy shock cx this one's a little bit underwhelming as well 220 hp magnetic attraction the ability can only be used once in your turn if your opponent has four or fewer prize cards remaining attach a basic fighting energy from your discard pile to this pokemon so a little bit of self energy acceleration but you have to be pretty far behind at that point you only got 220 hp you're a two prize pokemon the attack is nothing super special fighting fighting colors 200 damage you can't attack during your next turn i don't know the stats on this one are a little bit underwhelming now there's quite a few ancient cards that will make it a little bit more powerful that we'll get into in here in just a second gotta get through the rest of these pokemon though the iron jugulus future pokemon colors 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 
50 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon that already have any damage counters on them. So they already got to have the damage counters to make things a little bit tough. But you're probably co probably comboing this with like the Gallade Gardevoir Pokemon that says when it goes to the active, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Spread some damage with that. Then you get to the Iron Jugulus. I don't know. Maybe there's something there. And then for Colas, 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 Baryon Beam, Bar Baryon, Baryon Beam 150. If this Pokemon has a future boost energy capsule attached, this attack costs three colorless instead that's still a lot of energy 150 for three colorless energy is still a lot um so yeah i don't know this one does not seem great three color how are we getting the energy on this thing how are we charging this thing up it doesn't seem like we're gonna be doing that very efficiently not a big fan of the iron jugulus but maybe there's something there future booster energy capsule the future pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost and attacks you 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So a combination of two of the most powerful tool cards of all time, Floatstone and Muscle Band. Muscle Band used to give your Pokemon, or allow your Pokemon to do plus 20 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, but it could be attached to any Pokemon. And Floatstone, same, could also be attached to any Pokemon and give your opponent free, which, or give your Pokemon free retreat cost. Future Boost Energy Capsule has to be attached to a future Pokemon. So it's a little bit more limited, which I think is a good thing. A very powerful tool card, but, you know, it's only being designed to be able to combo with the future Pokemon. So... Hopefully it doesn't get too out of hand, but definitely a very powerful tool card that if uh, the future Pokemon are any good, is going to be played in pretty much, I don't know, probably it's a four of in like every future deck, I would imagine. Uh, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. The Ancient Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 60 HP, recovers from all special conditions, and can't be affected by any special conditions. So if you look at like the Sandy Shocks, you know, we're going from that 220 HP on the Sandy Shocks to like 280, getting a little bit better there. You could even put it on like the slither ring go up to 200 hp but you're doing 90 to yourself you're probably not putting that on a slither ring that's like still so weak and fragile you're probably never putting this thing on a slither ring we got professor sana's determination choose two of your ancient pokemon attach one basic energy from your discard pile to each of them then draw three cards this supporter is insanely strong we already have a ton of support for this so kind of supporter as well with like radiant greninja and ultra ball to get energy to the discard pile it almost feels like a better welder to be honest like they took welder and like, well, that was already really good, but it's like better. This card is absurdly powerful. Now the question will be, are the ancient Pokemon good enough to make this card good? And so far they're looking a little meh. We got the Slitherwing basically knocking yourself out. Sandy Shocks, like I said, the stats on that are already looking a little bit rough. So I'm not sure if the ancient Pokemon we've seen so far fit the bill for a broken ancient deck but this card is broken another card that combos with it really really well is this earth vessel you must discard a card from your hand in order to use this card search your deck for up to two basic energy cards reveal them and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck so you can use this card discard an energy get two energy then use greninja discard an energy draw two cards then use sada's determination attach the two energy just put in your discard pile put those back into play on some ancient pokemon and then you attach return with the other energy you got off the earth's vessel and you accelerated three energy into play drew five cards attached return. i mean that's just kind of crazy this is a crazy the earth vessel professor Sada's determination ancient combos looking good like i said this yeah this 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 supporter that's it uh professor turo's scenario put one of your pokemon into your hand discard all cards attached to that pokemon another reprint effectively here az was a supporter back in the day that did that did this exactly and it never felt broken just a very powerful az was a powerful supporter that was pretty good never felt truly broken stuff like ace of rolla or even charon's care i've always felt like they're a little bit more stronger of a version of az having to discard all the cards attached to the pokemon you're picking up with az definitely felt like it was a fair card to play as your supporter for the turn and i'm hoping and assuming that professor turo's scenario will feel pretty similar to like the balance level uh, as az it is a future card but it doesn't only interact with future Pokemon. And this is like a mistranslation here, but I'm assuming it's not limited to just future Pokemon. But this one is the Techno Radar. You have to discard a card in order to use this, or discard a, yeah, discard a card in order to use the card. Search your deck for up to two future Pokemon cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. So it doesn't have to be Pokemon. It's not just two future cards. That'd be pretty broken, but this is still a very powerful Pokemon search card. Discarding one card to get two Pokemon out of your deck. What? That's crazy powerful. Currently we're using Ultra Ball to discard two cards to get one pokemon but now you got the techno radar discard one card to get two cards the value is insane uh so yeah techno radar insanely powerful obviously gonna be playing it with your future pokemon i wonder how much more ancient and future cards we're gonna see i'm not sure about that we'll have to we'll have to wait and see i guess a couple supporter cards here to close it out not future or ancient but we got the mela attach one basic fire energy from your discard pile to one of your pokemon if you do then draw cards until you have six in your hand. But you can only use this if your opponent took a knockout on their previous turn. Seems fairly decent. A little bit of fire support here. 
Not sold on this one actually being that strong though. Fire Pokemon in general, we don't have that many good Fire Pokemon for this thing to work with to begin with. Yeah, I'm not sold on this actually being that good to be honest. We don't even use Magma Basin currently for Fire Pokemon. I don't, I don't see how we're ever using Mela as a uh, as a card for Fire Pokemon. The Fire Pokemon just don't have it like they need it. They're definitely missing out on uh, something. I don't know what it is, but they're not cooking. Uh, Tulip, put four in combination of Psychic Pokemon and Basic Psychic Energy from your discard pile into your hand. Obviously, there's a potential combination here with Gardevoir, of course. Super Rod might just be the better recovery overall, though. A little bit more aggressive. You can combo with Iona or Boss or something like that. This is limited, very much limiting your potential on your turn if you're playing this as your supporter for the turn. Will this be good in Gardevoir? I don't think so. However, I'm looking at this card. I think this could be very good with the Zatu that I talked about not that long ago. A couple days ago. The Zatu with the Tulip. That seems pretty good, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm looking at that combination right there for sure recover maybe a zatu line or whatever your attackers get some psychic energy back put the psychic energy in play with zatu draw some cards i don't know you're kind of cooking tulip plus zatu is that the combination to look out for i think it could be one with guard war i'm a little bit less sold on that super rod already seems like it's powerful enough so let me know in the comment section down below does jirachi beat lost box is lost box done once we get jirachi that's obviously the intent of the jirachi but do you think it'll do it do you think lost box is done as soon as we get jirachi we got drapion and spirit tomb and mew still kicking so obviously the counter cards don't always do what they're supposed to do but is jirachi the uh, sable eye killer the lost zone ender what do you think let me know in the comment section down below is the evolution technical machine the end of evolutions are we not gonna be able to play stage twos and stage ones like we we're hoping as soon as the rotation started to hit and we start to lose these v stars and start to lose the lost zone stuff we we're hoping for stage twos to be more powerful but is the technical machine the evolution too strong and are we still going to be waiting for a stage two pokemon to be good once again obviously we have guard for but the majority of decks that we're playing these days are stage ones v stars or basic pokemon and then the iron hands ex is it broken is the game gonna be dead when this thing comes out is it too good is it not good enough is it somewhere in between what do you think how do you guys feel about the iron hands twitter was in an uproar when this thing got revealed i'm currently on the seems solid probably gonna be decent but nothing to be worried about train right now but where are you guys at with all these cards let me know in the comment section down below and i'll catch y'all in the next video